Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day one of the McDougal Maximum Weight Loss Challenge. So I'm going to do what I did, I don't know if I did it last time, but the time before and the time before that, where I'm going to weigh myself for the first three days and average that out and then weigh myself for the last three days and average that out. So we'll see what the, um, the weight will end up being on an average rather than on just a one day and a one day kind of uh, mark. So today I am making um, stuffed peppers. The reason being is that uh, my husband makes an SOS free spaghetti sauce and I have some leftover in the refrigerator. So I will attach the video um, link in the description field for you to um, how he makes his SOS free spaghetti sauce. It's really, really good. It's really not difficult. Um, and this time it actually is SOS free because the last time when he made it and I made it, we had it for that video, we the tomato sauce that we had wasn't salt free, which is okay, not a big deal, but this time it is. Um, and it's fabulous, it tastes wonderful. So I would highly recommend making your own sp spaghetti sauce if you haven't in the past. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. I kind of thought you had to, you know, put wine in it and cook that off and just all sorts of, but you yeah, know, it's really not that hard. You could cheat and use uh, frozen peppers and onions like we do and it works great, <laughs> like every time, it's wonderful. So anyways, um, so I'm making stuffed peppers and I'm making this more McDougal friendly in terms of having a starch with every meal by adding beans to it. I used to make recipe a recipe that um, both my husband and I really, really liked a long time ago that was stuffed peppers and it had uh, turkey sausage and white beans and spaghetti sauce and uh, Parmesan cheese, I believe. Anyway, it had a few more ingredients than that, but that was the basic gist of it. Um, absolutely loved it. I could definitely make a vegan sausage. I've done so in the past, but it's a lot of work, guys. Holy cow, vegan sausage is a lot of work. So unless you wanna buy um, vegan junk food and get sausage at the store, um, I would just suggest leaving it out in this case. <laughs> so anyways, um, I was going to do two green peppers, um, but my other green pepper is very, very wilty. I did not expect that to happen quite that quickly. So I'm going to use a, a yellow pepper. So I've got two little peppers here. Um, I've got, this is just my mixing bowl. Anyway, so I've got some peppers, or some beans, just, um, which ones are these? The White Great Northern? Yeah, they're not cannellini. So these are the Great Northern beans. Um, rinsed and drained, because they don't, they do have sodium in the um, water, so I rinse those off. And then my husband's spaghetti sauce, like I said, take a look at the link for the in the description if you want um, to see that, how to put that together. It really, again, it's not very difficult. Um, so I'm going to mix those two together and put it in the peppers. And I kept the little top, so I can set it on top. It'll be nice and pretty. You could definitely, if you wanted to, put some nooch in here um, or take some with you to sprinkle on the top when you eat. So I'm going to try and follow the other, um, one of the recommendations in terms of eating smaller amounts more often. Um, and I'm going to make both peppers, but I'm going to take, I don't know, that doesn't seem like a lot of food to me. So I'm going to take one in a little container and then another one in a little container and eat multiple times throughout the day. I'm also going to take a serving size of red grapes so that I can have half of a serving after each pepper so that I have something sweet to end the meal, which will be good. But the spaghetti sauce is sweet too because my husband uses dates to sweeten it. It's very, very good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. I don't have any other plans to take anything else with me. I need to figure out um, where popcorn falls on the maximum weight loss. I know what Chef AJ would say, and she would say, A, if you need to snack, then you didn't eat enough, and B, um, it has 1,800 calories per pound, so why would you do that? Um, however, I've got the um, puff juar, the puff sorghum, and I really like that. And that would be something I would take as a snack. But I'm not sure how that, I'm not going to do that today because I need to look up some information and find out where that falls on the spectrum of if that's okay or not because I don't actually know. Um, and then the other thing that I was planning on taking with me was a container of hummus. It has no sugar, it has no oil, it does have some salt. Um, but I'm going to pick up a, a container of the carrot chips at the store this morning when I stop to get my technician a salad and um, I will eat that if I need more than just those, the pepper and the grapes and the pepper and the grapes. If I need another in-between meal, um, then that's what I'm going to do. So that's my plan for today. I will be back with you guys in a little bit after this is cooked so I can show it to you. So it goes um, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. That's at least what I think is how long it's going to take. I would rather have the pepper be a little bit more solid than to be soft. I'm not a huge fan of soft gooey peppers. Um, so I would rather have it be a little bit more firm. So I'm going to do 350 degrees for 30 minutes and I will check in with you guys afterwards so you could take a look at it. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway, I will talk to you guys again in a little bit and I hope you're having a good one. Alrighty guys, so here we go. Stuffed peppers. 
So cut that one in half. Um, you can see all the yummy goodness falling out of there. I'm going to go ahead and um, chop these into little pieces and put them in a little container. Not little pieces, but into chunks. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to have twice today. And I'm going to, like I said, take some hummus with me and get some carrots and take some grapes to have, um, like one serving of grapes. I'm just gonna split it into two. So I've got two little servings of grapes. And yeah, that's gonna be my meals for the day. If I eat something when I come home, um, I will definitely tell you guys about it. But otherwise, that is it for me for now. And I will talk to you guys again soon. All right, you guys, hello everyone. So I am on my way home. Um, and here's how food kind of went for the day. So I didn't eat right away and I got to work and I was hungry, but then I got busy. And before I knew it, like hours had gone by and I hadn't eaten yet, but I had a cup of tea. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, so anyways, so I ended up eating my pepper and a small handful of grapes, not very many. Um, and that was really good actually. It was very tasty. And then um, early afternoon-ish, we had uh, hummus and we as in my two technicians and I had hummus and um, carrot chips for a snack. That was super yummy. Um, and my, my one tech decided that she really likes the carrots, the chopped up carrots, like the carrot chips, rather than the carrot, the little miniature carrots, the little ones. So anyway, she was super excited about that. Um, and then um, I haven't had a chance to eat again, but I brought my pepper, the other pepper that I had, my other little container, I brought that home with me. And so I'm going to eat that when I get home and finish my grapes. I'm actually, I'm munching on the grapes right now because I am extremely hungry. So. I thought I would munch on them on my way home, and then when I get home, I will eat my um, pepper, and yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So, that is it for me for the day for food. I actually printed off a couple of recipes that I'm interested in making, and I'm not actually sure which one I will make tomorrow morning. I think I'll just get up and decide at the time um, what it is that I feel like. So, um, I don't have any other exciting news for you guys for today, but anyway, I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you again tomorrow.